Meteorologist VNA Arana joins us, and the, the air quality is something you watch very carefully. Absolutely. I mean, a change in the direction of the wind can easily blow smoke in our direction, away from us, and with high pressure, it traps all of those, you know, park particles at mm -hmm. the surface level. That also plays a role in your air quality. So as we inch closer to the weekend, the temperatures will heat up as that high pressure continues, and that's also important to play it, into when it comes to air quality. So let's talk about the fire conditions and the impacts this have. Uh, the Pittsburgh right now, look at the temperature trend. So one thing, unfortunately, working against us is how dry we are. The temperatures are going to get hot, and if you notice, there is a little bit of a breeze from the southwest at about 14 miles per hour. We're going to see those temperatures bump up into the upper 80s and 90s, and as of right now, the air quality forecast for today, according to the Bay Area Air Quality Management District, from the North Bay down to the South Bay, it is good, but there is an advisory in place. Again, that's because the air quality can change, you know, in just one little area depending on the direction of the wind. So even though it might be good up in the North Bay or parts of San Francisco in through the East Bay, with the change in the wind, we could see some of that smoke drifting. Another fire we're watching out for is the Washburn Fire in Yosemite. Now, it does look pretty far away from us when you look at it, you know, from a map perspective, but just to give you an idea of some of the impacts, here's a look at the near surface smoke. So you could see just how unhealthy that air quality is near that area. But if I put the timestamp forward, the good news is, is this looks like it's going to stay a little bit east when it comes to the wind. Also, the air is going to remain aloft. That means a little bit higher above versus at the surface. So the impacts from the Yosemite fire will be more centered towards the South Lake Tahoe area. So if you had plans to head to the Sierra, that will definitely impact your air quality through there. As far as the temperatures go, also still really dry in Yosemite. Those temperatures expected to reach the tip, triple digits in through the interior. So let's talk about your daytime highs here because we're going to be in the mid and upper 80s down to Gilroy 88, Morgan Hill 89, look at San Jose 83. The East Bay temperatures in through Walnut Creek 88, 90s in through Antioch. And this is just the beginning because we are expected to get even hotter into the weekend. So if you're going to be in the city, upper 60s, a little bit of a breeze up through San Francisco and also the North Bay 87 in Sonoma, Santa Rosa 89. King tides, there is a coastal flood advisory that's going to be in place starting through tonight at 11 p.m. to 4 a.m. for the immediate coast and bayfront, the greatest potential happens during the evening and overnight hours. This is going to bring a threat to the coastal trails, low line areas, things like that. As that high pressure continues to dominate, guys, we're going to be seeing the potential for triple digits into the weekend and yes, even 90s for the inland areas. Scott, it's going to be a hot weekend ahead.